Racing in the Greenwood Stakes and best into stride, Sable Island with Circle of Friends. Pink Lloyd away pretty well in the centre. Going through is Samarian Bell on the inside. The top trio got out two lengths ahead of Pink Lloyd. And then two and a half to Eskaminzen. On the inside is Martin Lake and early on Call Me Wally is last. And tearing out in front, Circle of Friends and Samarian Bell on the inside. Pinching ground there, three and a half to Sable Island. Three to Pink Lloyd now balancing up to fine stride is about six off the pace. And on the inside is Martin Lake from Eskaminzen. And five away last is Call Me Wally. A rip-roaring opening fraction, 21 and 2, and head-to-head. -head. Circle of Friends on the outside of Sumerian Bell by four lengths to Sable Island. A length to Pink Lloyd, warming to the task now. On the inside runs Martin Lake, and they're coming, and Pink Lloyd swings right around the outside with every stride, joins in, and goes after Stablemate Circle of Friends, and has hit the front just like that. And now it's a matter of how far. As Pink Lloyd made a winning move, three in front of Martin Lake, and then Circle of Friends. Pink Lloyd clear, Martin Lake getting home on the inside, but it's another one for Pink Lloyd. The Greenwood stakes by a length and a half. Martin Lake second, three and a half to Call Me Wally, and then came Eskaminzen. Just getting home here, Sumerian Bell being eased up at the wire. The time, 1.898. This is the Kawhi Leonard of Canada, Pink Lloyd, victorious in the Greenwood Stakes. I'm not sure who's got a bigger heart, Kawhi or Pink Lloyd, but they're both pretty big. And uh, this guy has had the privilege of riding Pink Lloyd throughout the majority of his career, that being Enrico Rosa da Silva. And the Hall of Famer Bob Tiller has just done a fantastic job with this horse. Enrico, just tell us through, tell us about the trip with this horse because the pace was really fast early on this race. Just take us to the backside and at the top of the stretch. Uh, you know what? I just heard you saying... Uh, it's a privilege, it's a really privilege to ride a machine like him. And uh, you know what, he's like a Kawhi uh, what's his name? Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi yeah. Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my English is not that good. <laughs> Your writing's fantastic though, so you're okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, he was like him, you know what? In the back stretch, he said, Eureka, enjoy the trip. I'm going to take care of this. <laughs> and in the turn, he just kicked. I put. You know, I took him a little bit outside, and he said, Enjoy, hold on, because I'm going to accelerate. <laughs> now, last week when we had this race, the, the rain came, the thunder came, and you were with him in the uh, Skinner Bread Barn here. How did he handle the delay, and um, were you at all concerned about the extra week's rest with him? Now, this, this horse is different this year. You know, Bob did something different with him. I don't know what is. He told me when he retired, he's going to tell me. <laughs> but I'm very curious what is. And he's just a different horse. You see, today in the gate, he was not giving us any trouble. And the, peop the gate people did a fabulous job. And uh, he's relaxed. And when he needs to run, he run. And uh, that day, he was very, very relaxed. I walk, I walk a little bit with the pony, and then I asked the pony, uh, Rob, I said, Rob, can I walk him because he's carrying 125 and I walk him there. He was just fine. He was just happy to be there and and very relaxed horse. He's a different horse this year. Thank you for your time and thank you for another successful trip with Pink Lloyd. Thank you very much. Good luck to everybody. Let's bring in the Hall of Famer and uh, it just seems like this guy has more challenges thrown at him, whether it's to start off his racing career, weather delays, he's had it all. How much did the weather delay put you guys behind the eight ball a little bit? You know, deep down inside, I wasn't worried about it. I, I knew we had him in good order. I knew he was happy. And, uh, you know, I'll, as long as everything goes good with the gate thing and, and, and his little issues last fall, I knew he was going to run a big one. And I, I really wasn't concerned about uh, the delay. He, he's a smart horse. I was going to ask you that because it seems like mentally he's on another level this season. He is. He is. We've, like I said, we, we, we go one race at a time. Yep. All is well. <laughs> Enjoy it, my friend. You get to have a nice, relaxing evening tonight and uh, enjoy the victory yet again with Pink Lloyd. Now 18 wins with him. Yeah, I, you know what? I'd like to, two people I'd like to, three people that I'd like to really thank, maybe four. <laughs> I, I, I would love to thank uh, 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 Robert Mutu, who is his exercise rider this year. Uh, Sanchez did a great job last year with him. Uh, I, I'd like to you know, bo thank both of them for this horse. I'd like to thank uh, his groom, Michelle, and, uh, and Tommy Lotris, my assistant trainer. And of course, I'd like to thank Bob Tiller. <laughs> it's a team effort, and he did yes, a great job coaching. it is. It truly is. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Thank you.
There you go. Pink Lloyd does it yet again in the Greenwood Stakes, and the time was impressive yet again. The Pick 4 preview coming up shortly.